Born to Ride is brought to you in part by 866-LAW-FRIEND. Ride safe, ride smart. Offices of Tom Harbor. Life is short. Buy the damn motorcycle. Man, I tell you, this is a beautiful place. I could hang out here all day, man. Hang on, hang on, hang on. And from the Las Vegas Bike Fest, Debbie Galetti has an exclusive interview with Rick from the blockbuster TV show on History Channel, Pawn Stars. All this and more here on Born to Ride. Closed captioning is brought to you by Love Jugs, the most powerful and effective V-twin engine cooling system in the world. Get your Love Jugs at a dealer near you. Find out at love-jugs.com. Hey, I'm Steven Tyler from Aerosmith. You're watching Born to Ride TV. Oh, yeah. It's Ron Galletti, executive producer. I want to thank you all for tuning in to Born to Ride TV, the longest running biker TV show in the world. I just want to say, remember to support the sponsors who keep this show on the air. And check out our website, borntoride.com. Like us on Facebook. Let us know if you want to be on this show or maybe your company wants to be on this show. And remember, when you want to get a Harley Davidson, the only place to get one is War Horse Harley Davidson of Ocala. So stay tuned for the fastest half hour on TV. It's Born to Ride, and it's all coming up right here, right now. No payments for 12 months plus 0% for six years. Credit approval required. Visit www.nopaymentsfor12months.com to learn more or call 844-654-0000 for a fast, free recorded message. Need we say more? Available only at Warhorse Harley-Davidson, Ocala, Florida. Southern California one of the most beautiful places you can ride a motorcycle. From the moments of riding over the top of mountains watching sunrises to going down along the coastline for sunsets. Big cities of Los Angeles to the little towns that float inside the canyons. California is one of those places that has a spirit made for feeling the open road. On my mission to hit every Harley-Davidson dealership in America, I had to blow through town so fast, I realized how many amazing bikers are out there, and these stories need to be told. I'm Adam Sandoval, and this is Kickstands Up. We are at Top Rocker Harley Davidson. It's our final meet and greet here. You know, we're just connecting with the people, uh, talking about, you know, veterans' needs, motorcycles' impact on veterans. And at noon, we're gonna be giving away a brand new pair of Harley Davidson boots to a very lucky veteran. I think there's a few vets floating around the store, but we haven't told anybody. You're a vet? Well, come here, man. I got a present for you. Yeah, here's a beautiful card of I did vet stuff. I'm Joshua Bryan. I did 20 years in, in the Navy Seabees. Did nine deployments. Some like around Fallujah or Ramadi all over Iraq. On behalf of Scooter and I and uh, Harley Davidson Motor Company, we would like to give you a brand new pair of Harley Davidson boots. Sweet. Didn't even know what he was getting. That's the best. Yeah, man, it's awesome. I'm really surprised. To, to get boots and have somebody like look out for us. It means a lot to me and it means a lot to my brothers and sisters, especially the ones that are still struggling, that are still here or out of uniform, you know, so because when you come home, you're, you're never out of the fight. I am excited for what bike I'm gonna get this weekend. I've ridden the CVO uh, Ultra, I've ridden the Road Glide, I've ridden the Heritage Softail Classic, and I've ridden the Street Glide. I don't know what's gonna be next, but um, I'm hoping it's something a little sporty because I get to ride touring bikes all the time and that really is my wheelhouse, but it's always nice to just 
tear it up on something, you know, light and sporty. So it looks like the bike that uh, Hardy has got for you this week's riding is the Dyna Lowrider S. Dude, Bad to the bone. I've been wanting to ride one of these. If ever I was in a position to have two bikes, this would certainly be my second bike. I think these things are just awesome. So we got thrash and supply handlebars. The fairing comes with the bike already, but this baby's loaded with the 110 engine. That's 1800 cc's, baby, of shredding power. We here in LA, we call this the unicorn. It's hard to come <laughs> by this bike. My name is Greg Lutzka, I'm a professional skateboarder. So Greg Lutzka is our guest. Super stoked to be uh, crushing it with a guy who's into skateboarding. I, I, and not just skateboarding, but I'm talking two-time X Game medalist, uh, just tearing it up everywhere he goes. Not only crushing it on skateboards, but tearing it up on two wheels. He's just a perfect fit for this show. My name is, I'm Smiling Sam Alvey. I'm a 15th ranked UFC athlete, uh, just fighting around the world and trying to get there on a Harley. Smiling Sam Elvey is uh, a very good friend of mine. He has been fighting within my circuit in mixed martial arts for over a decade. Um, I remember some of his biggest fights and thinking, you know, this guy belongs in the UFC, and now he is, and it couldn't have happened to a more genuine person. What do you want from me? Why are you trying to make me bleed? I gave you everything. Sunset is a, an amazing street, and I've ridden down it dozens of times in my car. It's a completely different experience, riding down with two wheels and just taking in a 360 view of the entire strip. You got to see the rainbow, the Viper Room, um, and a ton of restaurants that are just cool places to hang out. It's the all-new Born to Ride Biker Text Messaging Club. Join the hottest text messaging club to receive discounts, savings, information on motorcycle events, and a chance to win free stuff monthly. Text BTRVIP to 51660 now. I've been representing accident victims for nearly a decade, and I've always wanted an office where my clients would feel comfortable and welcome. I'm attorney Fran Hosh, and I've also always been a fighter never backing down to any insurance company or their attorneys when it comes to representing my client's rights. Let me deal with the insurance company so you don't have to. If you've been injured in an accident, please call me at 866-LAW-FRAN or log on to lawfran.com. Want to change your life forever in just three days? Learn to ride at Warhorse Harley-Davidson Riding Academy in Ocala. It's only three days, and with our 98% graduation rate, you are certain to succeed. Change the way people look at you forever. Tired of riding without a license? Get your motorcycle or trike endorsement today. Our class is fast and it's fun. And remember, active military and veterans can attend for free. Ride with confidence. Warhorse Harley-Davidson Riding Academy. Ocala, Florida, 352-732-2488. Find us on Facebook, Born to Ride TV and Magazine, the ultimate multimedia biker experience. Wow. Oh, wow. Greg? What's up, brother? Hey, man, nice to meet Thank you, God. man. Thank you so much for coming out, man. I really appreciate oh, absolutely. it. Absolutely. Yeah. That is awesome. Yeah, how you doing, Sam, sir? Good to see you. Hey, good to see you. Oh, you didn't get Been any softer, did you? No, no. <laughs> I was thinking. So you are about to break a world record. A two world two records. Two world records. Yeah. Which are? I'm going to have the most fights in one year in the UFC and the most wins in one year in the UFC. And that is awesome. Yeah. So unfortunately, I, I can't ride with Adam today, but I'm in the process of getting my license. He put me through the academy, so I'm going to get it, and now I'm just going to get my license any day now. Uh, I hope they treated you right. 
Oh, it was wonderful. Thank you for hooking me up with those guys. They taught me anything and everything you could possibly want to know about riding a, riding a Harley. I'm working on getting that, that official license and then I'll be out on the road with you. Yeah, down to the DMV. Too bad we couldn't squeeze it in to ride together today, but, mm -hmm. but we'll ride together in the future, I'm sure. Oh, I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Sam, it's always good to see you. Hey, Thanks thank for stopping you so much. Oh, Saturday. absolutely. that parking otherwise I think it's that street down there is the next one should we just run it let's run it So Greg, tell me, where, where did you bring us today, man? What is this? All right, today we're at Venice Skate Park. It's like the mecca of skateboarding. A lot of history in Venice Beach. Um, obviously, you can see out here a lot of kids are skateboarding. This is like new age Venice Beach where we're at right now, but yeah. a lot of history behind it. Man, I tell you, this is a beautiful place. I could hang out here all day, man. So you go from pro skateboarding to yeah. just riding motorcycles. Uh, <laughs> you know, is that your escape from skateboarding? No, I love skateboarding. That's my passion. And then motorcycles just kind of came in, in my hand. And once you get on the HD bike, it's, it's a lot of fun. And that's what it's about. It's about the culture of motorcycle riding and skateboarding, and it all kind of fits together. And it's... It's great, man. Absolutely, man. Very cool. So there's all kinds of stuff. This is one of the things I love about riding motorcycle, Greg, is the fact that it brings me to some of the raddest places in the country, um, this being one of them. When you're on Venice Beach, one of the things you got to do is you got to stop for some food, man. And frankly, Scooter only lets me go four, maybe five hours tops without food. Let's be honest. I mean, he's the show. I'm the chauffeur. So, Greg. What's the longest road trip you've taken on your bike? Well, we did a long run. That was pretty rad. How far is that? Well, like six, seven hours. Dude, I've been I've been grinding. Yeah. I, I missed so many of the best runs and parties. Yeah. You know, I've been able to do Sturgis and stuff. Um, yeah, Sturgis is a good. good but one. I miss so much. Yeah. Because I'm just constantly going. But I want to build the baddest group ride to Alaska. Yeah. Dude, yeah, spend like two weeks. That'd be amazing, yeah. That's a road trip you talk about to your grandkids. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what do you think, Rue? You just never know what you're going to see in Venice Beach. Uh, we're getting ready to get on the bikes. This guy comes by with a motorcycle. I'm not sure what it was, but it was one wheel and I had handlebars, so I had to try it. I ain't never ridden one of them, though. That thing's sweet. Yeah. Come on, do a wheelie. Oh, do a wheelie. I'm on one wheel, man. That's a wheelie, right? What a trip, though. All right, so just lean forward. Greg, watch out! Oh! That was close. Today, I got to ride the Lowrider S, which I gotta say, I'm so glad I did because I've had an itch since Holly Davidson came out with it. And there's a couple reasons I, will, I like this bike. One, it's got the same color scheme as the Smokey and the Bandit Trans Am. Two, it's very, very agile. It's a Dyna, which is the best performing bike Harley Davidson puts out. Three, they're just sick looking. Like, I just, they, they're beautiful to look at. I will say it is a fun ride, but I'm a beggar, man. Uh, I'm a distance traveler. And I would not want to go much further than I already went today on this bike. Uh, I think they say with age comes wisdom. I'm going to stick with the bag. No payments for 12 months plus 0% for six years. Credit approval required. Visit www.nopaymentsfor12months.com to learn more or call 844-654-0000 for a fast, free recorded message. Need we say more? Available only at Warhorse Harley-Davidson, Ocala, Florida. Born to Ride is brought to you in part by 866-LAW-FRIEND. Ride safe, ride smart. Offices of Tom Harbor. It's coming Saturday, March 3rd, Border Rides, Pre-Bike Week Biker Bash at River's Edge, Gibsonton, featuring MCW, that's Micro Championship Wrestling, the Greg Billings Band live in concert.
boxer. Meet Chris DeGrati, star of the movie Nation's Fire. Born to ride 10 class custom and ride in bike show. The Born to Ride Cigar Club. Special thanks to Lama Tampa, Budweiser. And it's all sponsored in part by Attorney Fran Hodge, 866 Law Fran. Rumble at the river. It's coming Saturday, March 3rd. Special thanks to Bobby Rainey and all steel buildings. Everyone was right, I was born to ride. Born to Ride is a multimedia marketing and promotional machine with TV, magazines, streaming radio, and internet advertising opportunities. There are tens of thousands of motorcycles. We reach the people who ride them. Born to Ride. Find out more at borntoride.com. Let's go to the cantina. We might be a little bit early, but there's going to be a party there tonight. All right. That's and you're good. in? All right. Fun, dude. Let's do it. I haven't been here yet. So you're a virgin. Yeah, I'm a virgin. Right Me too, here. man. I think we got a whole. Well, we're crew. in the valley, I think. We got a whole crew of virgins walking fun. in the dark. So we're at the cantina, and you know, it's it warms my heart, man. I am leaving Southern California, which I love dearly, to wrap it up at the cantina with all the people that, all the new friends I've met. This is what motorcycling is about. It's about the relationships, and uh, these friends are yours for the rest of your life, and that's something you can't go down to the supermarket and buy. Five weeks that Adam's been here shooting his show Kickstands Up. It's been a great experience, not just for me personally to get to ride with him and his crew, but for our Top Rocker crew as well. It was uh, really awesome to see so many different people from the biking community come together and kind of hang out at Top Rocker, you know, every Saturday. And uh, it was really, I think it was pretty epic. So our tagline at Top Rocker Harley Davidson is ride out on top. And we feel that after this five weeks, we definitely wish Adam well and we want him to ride out on top. This has definitely put a smile on my face, and then to, to be a part of it on top of everything, I'm so proud to be a part of the Kickstands Up and a part of Top Rocker itself. I, I'm stoked. Riding some of the roads I've ridden, seeing some of the things I've seen has been an absolute honor. The people I've met are my favorite part along my epic journey. I am glad I was able to take the time to soak in these memories. SoCal has been an amazing journey, but I'm looking forward to seeing the rest of the world on these two wheels. I'm Adam Sandoval, and this is Kickstands Up. payments for 12 months plus zero percent for six years credit approval required visit www.nopaymentsfor12months.com to learn more or call 844-654-0000 for a fast free recorded message need we say more available only at warhorse harley davidson ocala florida is your business connecting with a powerful market Text message marketing. 85% of Americans own a mobile phone. 100% use them every day. An audience that will read your message within two minutes of receiving is powerful. Get your message in the hands of your best and next customer. Easy and affordable. You set the budget. Text message marketing. It's time to get noticed. Call Media Design Shop, 813-571-4003. 
Check out the all-new BornToRide.com with radio, TV, industry, adventure, events, magazines, social media, and much more. It's the all-new BornToRide.com. of being the at the Las Vegas Bike Fest is there's always celebrities in town and look who we ran into today, Rick Harrison and from Pawn Stars and Rick, glad to be here today. You're at the Bike Fest here, having a good time right here with a dynamic bike show. What does this mean to, for this Bike Fest to be in your hometown? Well, I, I do this every year. This is the fourth year we have had my poker run for epilepsy. I do it every Sunday. Starts at the pawn shop, goes to a few places, ends at the pawn shop, because uh, right, right across the parking lot from my pawn shop is my restaurant, my bar, and um, we have a giant party, and we give you know we raise a lot of money, and it's always fun. And the, the bikers just show up here from everywhere, California, Las Vegas, all over the place, and then they come in here and they see you and spend some time with you, and then they support your cause. That's that's what more can you ask for on that? Um, no, I mean it's a great town, it really is, especially um, how weird this week is. So uh, yeah, it's uh, like I said, I do this every year. Uh, we always raise over a hundred thousand dollars a year every time we do it. So um, no, I, I, it's a good thing to do. Well, what about your bartending gig? Tell us about what, what's all involved there. Friday and Saturday night, I bartend at my bar. I'm the world's worst bartender. <laughs> I serve beer and drink, I make drinks where the name of the drink is the ingredients of the drink, like Jack and Coke, seven and seven. <laughs> now, anything more complicated than that, I don't make. You can't go wrong there. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. There's no sex on the beach or like whatever to whatever. whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, people line up at your door to, to visit the pawn shop, see you, see your dad, see all the gang, of course. And you guys are so knowledgeable what you do over there. At least I am. <laughs> You'll take all the credit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, the Bike Fest brings a lot of um, revenue to this town. It brings a lot of um, excitement to the town. And um, the promoter, Candace, does a great job putting this on every year. How does the community feel about this, the Bike Fest? Oh, they love it. I mean, it's Vegas. It's, it's, fun. it's a really, really fun weekend. So um, uh, we do it every year, and um, yeah, we have a good time. And what about riding to you? You're pretty knowledgeable about riding. Get out enough to ride? Uh, I can't tell you how many surgeries I've had for motorcycles. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I ride all the time. We just. Uh, just a couple of months ago, uh, me and some buddies rode to Oregon and back. Do you, you get a lot of bikes coming through the shop? That some one-offs? Not not a lot of uh, bikes to the shop, but you know, I I got a lot of bikes myself. I got. 10 or 11 of them right now. Awesome. Well, what do they range from? Old school? New school? I got everything from uh, 60s Triumphs and uh, brand new stuff. So a little, everything in between. Which favorite? Uh, probably my Road King. Yeah. Well, what's it's an old guy bike. Old guy, <laughs> old guy with no hair? Maybe? Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, no, he's got the back. Now, tell us, what's coming up in your future? What do you have going on? You always have something uh, exciting. Season 14 right now. Um, and uh, just working all the time. So, yeah, life is good. I can't complain. Well, good. It's good to see you out here today enjoying the Bike Fest and being a part of it. And it's also great that you're doing that one special thing, and that's donating to that, that charity, your cause. And what are those numbers, again, that you raise? <laughs> uh, we raise a, over 100000 every year for it. So uh, hopefully this year will be just as good or better. Rick, your shop just brings people by the groves there. They have to meet you. You're such a character. They have to meet your dad. The they have to meet the crew. non-gaming tourist uh, attraction. In, the, uh, in Las Vegas. There I get you more go. More people at my place than Hoover Dam. Awesome. Very good. And it's a fun place. Uh, yeah. How do you entertain them when they come in? I don't know. They get to see a bunch of cool stuff. You know, get a Chumley for t uh, for President T-shirt. Or <laughs> I have a lot of neat stuff there. Right across the parking lot is like my restaurant, and my bar. Uh, there's some other shops in there with food and stuff like that. It's a fun place to cruise around to. It definitely is. It's a it's a great attraction. We were there ourselves and got some cutout pictures with you there. Nice cutouts and um, tell us about your dad. How's he doing? He's doing great. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Still strong part of the show for you. Um. Yeah. You know, he doesn't. He's not on the show uh, nearly as much anymore. But uh, you know. He's sort of a uh, semi-retired. There you go. He deserves it, right? That's right. All right, Rick Harrison from Pond Stars. <laughs> Check him out at Vegas. It's one of the best attractions you'll ever see here at, on the Strip.
Is your business becoming invisible? Five reasons to advertise. One, you control the message completely. Two, creates credibility and sense of a thriving business. Three, brings awareness to everything you are doing. Four, find new customers. Five, keeps you top of mind. We could tell you more, but you get the idea. Create a great advertising relationship today with Born to Ride. Call 888-795-5779.